25 जुलाई 2024 को एयर एशिया द्वारा एक इंटरक्टिव सेशन किया गया जहां पर टूर ऑपरेटर्स बिजनेसमैन और मीडिया हाउसेस को आमंत्रित किया गया दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द फर्स्ट एवर इंटरनेशनल फ्लाइट आउट ऑफ पोर्ट ब्लेयर टू कोलालंपुर सो वी एयर एशिया यू नो वी हैव ग्रेट ट्रस्ट यू नो वी हैव ग्रेट कॉन्फिडेंस इन दिस मार्केट सो वी आर अ टीम ऑफ 3 here uh, to uh, for a market survey market ready to understand the potential so basically from the tourism point of view from the economy point of view or you know maybe you know we wanted to understand more since you know, we are outcome we are not from the city so that's the reason we are here so before we start you know just uh, i'll give you a brief introduction about the airline so airline you know air asia we have started in the year 2001 with the mission you know uh, to everyone to fly okay uh, so from then today you know we are one of the leading low cost carrier of the world we have been 15 times in a row the uh, best low cost airline of the world so it is not an easy thing you know without uh, uh, your support you know there's a lot of uh, trust from the passengers maybe the internal external stakeholders so we carry a great pride in that so because it's not an easy thing and uh, see uh, being uh, uh, we fly uh, 10 international uh, asian countries we are the market leaders of the asia so name any city in Mal- uh, malaysia you have a uh, air asia flight in thailand you have a asia flight in uh, philippines cambodia you have indonesia we have connectivity to australia japan china and within india uh, we have uh, uh, 15 uh, uh, 16 sorry 16 right so we have 16 stations within india Uh, which has you know like uh, cities like hyderabad bangalore chennai trichy uh, coimbatore uh, sorry uh, kochi uh, we are starting uh, calicut uh, trivandrum uh, guwahati uh, delhi bombay ahmedabad so all major cities are covered and not just the major cities we are exploring uh, indian opportunities since chennai is not completely opened up so india is the greatest you know uh, market for us is the biggest market for us so we are looking all the advantages you know the tier 1 tier 2 tier 3 cities so that's how the pool player uh, plan has come into the picture so uh, we have the rights to fly out of pool player so since we have the right you know rights to fly we are exploring these opportunities so now we request your support we request your knowledge sharing to us to understand the potential of uh, uh, this market air asia fly is only international out of india so we were uh, the air asia india earlier you know we were part of it uh, with uh, tata but you know uh, post covid we have sold off the entire state so we have parted our ways now air asia india is rebranded as air india express so the question and answer is very clear so air asia india is no more so it is purely whatever you see the flights flying out of india is purely international air asia our mission is to allow everyone to fly so in terms of the pricing strategy as well we are the ultra low cost you could say so we have the best low fares and fl- without compromising the quality at all when it comes to the connectivity from port blair the moment you arrive in kl kuala lumpur you have got lot of connections within uh, asia as well as outside asia so for example uh, if if your port blair passenger wants to fly to malaysia whether it is langkawi or penang or kochi or to thailand like phuket bangkok we are you have a flight even to pattaya from kuala lumpur to bangkok it is airbus a320 it's a 180 seater aircraft see cargo and all we are right now checking the feasibility so it is not the right time to uh, comment anything on cargo we are the team from the commercial department so who manages the sales and marketing part of it so maybe cargo will come into the picture later so probably that is one of the areas for you know launching the flight so we don't look only cargo as an opportunity so that is one of the opportunity so end of the day we are here to make money so we fly planes to make money whether it is to cargo or passenger but our primary motto is to carry passengers so any operation any flight we launch in, in the assumption you know that we will make money so cargo definitely is one of the areas of opportunity we have our in house it's a separate company so we call it as teleport so that company manages all the cargo operations for the entire uh, world operations of air asia so uh, they will they must be studying the market already uh, so it's a separate team but since we are here so that that's one of the reason why we were asking you to understand the potential 
So we will definitely consider these points and we will take it up to the management. So whether uh, we can uh, ship directly from Port Blair to Malaysia and beyond, is it possible or not? So these all things will come into the picture through that company. So in terms of uh, Europe, uh, our operations are mainly into ASEAN segmentation. So we have just started the Nairobi, so this part of the western part of the world. So we have just launched the Nairobi and eventually it will come. So we are in a growing airline, you know, post-COVID, uh, you know, now the aircraft have started coming back and we have almost reached the same capacity what we used to operate pre-COVID. Right. So now, so our, see, as I told you, you know, China uh, is not completely opened up and India is seeing the major op opportunity. And when you talk about other than the western part of the world, this side, you have, uh, you name any country or the connectivity. So we have launched Almaty as well. Yeah. So going forward, we will have the western part of the connectivity. So it used to be via uh, Australia. So we fly into Australia and from Australia to New Zealand. We have Sydney, Melbourne, Perth and all of the connectivity. So in terms of opportunity with these kind of companies which you have mentioned, the Make My Trips and all. So we already have, uh, you know, uh, they are our partners. Okay. So they feed a lot of uh, passengers to us. Uh, so our, in fact, the Make My Trip is one of the biggest contributor. Not for us, for any other airline, since they have that kind of a network. So other than that, we have a lot of other tour operators. Of, of now, since we are here, so we will be also partnering with them, the local uh, travel partners. And not just this, you know, Air Asia uh, as an airline, so our network is quite strong. So we have uh, uh, operators from China, we have operators from Australia, we have operators from Malaysia, Thailand, you know, they are already connected with us. So the moment we open this, so we will also be doing a lot of promotions, you know, because we understand this market needs, you know, an inbound traffic. So we will be doing it, but at the same time, as rightly said by you, so we want the tour operators here to go, you know, and, and present uh, in these B2B roadshows and all across the world, put Andaman, maybe the tourism uh, uh, boards should come in and should help, should support, and, you know, promote uh, Andaman as a destination. And we also help you in all the ways, you know, whatever it is. So we will do it. So this is one of the, you know, inbound is one of the major traffic which we are going to expand. Since right now there is no international flight and this is the first ever international going to be. Inbound, it is very important. Outbound is also very important. Now, you know, for inbound connections, you know, for connectivity. Now, see, you have DMCs here. So people will contact you for, you know, all the on-ground activities and all. So that's how, you know, the business gets exchanged. And for uh, uh, outbound, you have, you know, our, uh, uh, if you want to travel to Tenpasar, Bali, it will get connected. If you want to travel to Phuket, it will get connected. If you want to tra travel to Cambodia, it will get connected. So all connections is going to be open for entire ASEAN network. It is three times in a week. So the tentative would be 246, which is Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. So I will not comment on the schedule mm -hmm. because right. it is yet to come out. So... Uh, see, now we are here for the market survey, so we'll go back, we'll give them the confidence to launch the route and uh, no, it, it, you will hear good news, you know, coming soon, uh, maybe in a couple of weeks. I have any code share uh, within India. Mm -hmm. See, we Air Asia, uh, uh, to the outside world, to the, uh, within uh, the other network, so Air Asia has seven EOCs. So we have like Thai Air Asia, we have Air Asia Parhat, which is now we are going to fly. We have Air Asia X, we have Air Asia Cambodia, we have Air Asia Indonesia, Air Asia Philippines. So all these network will come into the picture and they will feed uh, uh, us for the world network. But when it comes to the India, we don't have uh, any kind of code share. It will be going to be super cheaper than uh, Hyderabad or Chennai or Bangalore or Kolkata. It is going to be two to two and a half hours. It is going to be daytime. It will be very convenient for your hotel check-in and check-out. Okay. So you can now, you know, the people who are traveling to Chennai, Kolkata for shopping can go to Malaysia very easily and travel at an international uh, uh, city. So once we launch the flight, so probably I will be here again, you know, for a, a sales visit, visiting the top partners here. And uh, we will be also doing a roadshow, inviting the channel partners across Andaman, the agents, maybe top 30 agents or 40 agents. So there, the team there will be doing it. Definitely that is required. See, as I told you, so we are not just looking at the outbound. So we are also looking at the inbound. So now, the moment we open this flight for sale, so then 
uh, how uh, we are responsible to fill the flights, even they are also equally responsible to fill that side of the flights. So they will be doing a lot of engagements over there. Uh, we have already started, you know, speaking with a lot of channel partners in Malaysia as well. So we have uh, attached base with them. We spoke to them. So like how we are talking to, you know, a few of the agents here in this room. I was also talking to you to understand the potential. So this is a continuous process, and we'll be doing it. So uh, how we are going to do, do the roadshow here? We are going to do it there as well. Kuala Not just Kuala Lumpur. We since we wanted to promote this flight. So we might do it in the other parts of the world where we fly, Australia. So abhi abhi jiske paas bhi passport hai, passport lo, wo ek hotel ka information check karega, aur there is an app. So uh, just go and fill your details, just a declaration kind of a thing. Like you know, I'm staying here for two days, three days. That's it. So just show the declaration and your passport will be stamped and walk out. That's it. It's a very hassle free, and uh, we are uh, uh, see. Uh, our flights take off and land in KLA2 terminal, which is the terminal 2 of uh, Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, which is an amazing airport, the best airport for shopping and all. And you will see all the flights you know, painted in red. So that is, you can call it as kind of Asia terminal. And we have an office in the same terminal. India, right now we have an office in Bangalore. So probably we wanted to spread as well. So we might have uh, offices. Maybe one more, but uh, uh, predominantly the main offices in India is Bangalore. So other than this, sir, you know, uh, in terms of uh, opportunities, so, uh, what I understand is cargo is one of the things which we have written already. So that is, uh, you gave some information about it. Uh, apart from that, anything else? Uh, so what kind of segmentation is expected to travel? Because what I understand is in Andaman, uh, I guess close to about six to seven lakhs of the population, right? Five lakhs. So out of this 5 lakhs, what I understood is it is 1 lakh to 1.5 lakh is the passport holders, not more than that, right? So how do we get the potential, like you know, if this flight gets sustained, if you are doing good, as I told you, we have 7 AOCs, so we fly, to, we operate from different, different countries, so we also have Thai Air Asia. So we might consider looking at, you know, a port player, Bangkok as well, a direct flight. It all depends upon how the market responding. How the market resp responds to it. So, if the load factors are good, if are making some money out of it, and you know, if, if, if it is really good, then we might also consider uh, port player to Bangkok. So we have uh, seven. We can fly, you know, India direct to uh, Indonesia. We can fly India Cambodia direct. We can fly India uh, uh, Philippines direct. So, so we have the overseas. Or like now, we had Vietnam. We don't have AOC. But we fly, we have a lot of connections via Bangkok or via Kuala Lumpur. You name Ho Chi Minh or you know Hanoi, you got a lot of connections. Our fares are very low. So we fly with very, very thin fares, very low fares without compromising on the quality. So our mission is to make everyone fly. So, end of the day. So, all our fares, whatever you see in online, whatever the launch fare we are going to clear, it is with 7 kg baggage. So, the checking baggage won't be there. As a free of cost, it's only 7 kg baggage. If you want a checking baggage, since the travel agents are here, travel partners are here, it is always advisable to book the ticket with the baggage. Why I am saying is, at the time of ticket issuance, the baggage charge is 1500 to 2000 rupees or maximum 2500 rupees, where you get 20 kg extra. So if you, if you don't book, if you don't educate your customers, passengers, if you forgot to miss uh, to add the baggage later, the price may start from 5,000, 7,000. And at the airport, it may be 8,000, 10,000. So that's where we make money. So wh why we fly thin margin is we make money through ancillary. So all our fares, whatever, you know, even tomorrow we, we, we might be a very attractive price. It may, it may be your, uh, lesser than your Chennai Calcutta uh, phase right now. So that comes with 7 kg baggage. So if you need a baggage, please add it at the time of ticket issuance for a cost saving. So you can have multiple bags as well. So if you are uh, having a family of you know, four traveling, add baggage for one or two and pick up two, two bags. That's fine. So there is, this airline, has, we are very digitally strong airline. So we understand our customers. So, the principles are made to make a hassle-free travel. And sir, you name any airline, 
the baggage rate per kg it won't be less than 500 rupees so uh, i am giving you 1500 rupees where i give you 20 kg baggage so which is not even 100 rupees at the time of ticket issuance it is also the cost is very very cheap you will have to purchase uh, so it is 300 rupees 350 rupees maximum so where you get you know one good meal and juice or coke something like that so airline wise you know our otp is too good from see uh, post covid uh, whatever flights we have launched out of india till today we have not cancelled any but the, the, the cities like guwahati guwahati bangkok we launched here it, it is very successful route for us now so we either go with bangkok or Kuala Lumpur, if one you know becomes success, we launch the other one. Uh, we are launching now Calicut, Calicut on 2nd of uh, August. We are now launching uh, a Trichy a Bangkok flight. Uh, we may open, uh, if everything goes well, we may open in August, first week or second week. So it all depends upon the outcome, final outcome.